you know what all the fans of the original series want to know is how will this film kind of link up and sync up with the other films in the franchise? Well, it, it, it's an origin story, so we're sort of in a way we're re we're rewriting the foundations of this mythology and we've been very very respectful to the mythology in the sense that we've we've looked to kind of adhere to where we're headed and that being the original 1968 film ultimately you know it's a, it's a self-contained story it's the story of a revolution it's the story of you know if you think of Che Guevara and the idea of an uprising but it just happens to be with apes and and I think that's that's quite unusual but this this story is much more about a revolution in microcosm it's like Spartacus if you think of Spartacus and the slave revolution it's much more in keeping with that it takes place within the San Francisco area and then I guess we're we're getting to a place where the next film could start to evolve into something more continental or more international you know learning uh, about ape behavior was, was was done on Kong but this is just like Caesar is a completely different character I mean he is a he is a, an ape who is brought up by human beings and then becomes a, a revolutionary and and it's so they're worlds apart really but um, you know when you're learning um, it's not it's not really about doing ape movement this for me it was just like because he has a super intelligence Caesar has a super intelligence so it's like it's like how to give him that intelligence without being so arrogant as to think making him more human-like will make him more intelligent and so there's a real fine sort of pitching kind of uh, thing that we had to do with me and the director Rupert uh, to, to work out how we were going to pull that off. One has never seen a film where you have a computer generated character in a real world setting that is, is one's protagonist and, 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 and what's more in a, in a humanoid you know um, personification and I think to, you need an extraordinary actor to play that and the reason why Andy is is at the forefront of performance capture is because he's just a brilliant actor. That's that's what it. That's as, it's as simple as that. He's one of those actors, like all great actors, that can kind of just push aside all of the technology, all of the things that are going on around him. The you know the mo the face capture camera, all of that stuff, and he can just inhabit the role and play it. And and uh, you know and that's what makes him him so successful, and 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 that's what has made our characters so successful. You have no idea what you're dealing with. They're not people, you know.